Hey everyone, Kevin Oxner here with your MakeMe.com. The first thing I think most people have been asking for is the ability to share and to collaborate. So they come up with something that is on the way. It's not quite 100% there, but let's have a look at it. It's called Local Network Sharing. It allows you to share over a local network. So that could be your home network. It could be a business network. This is not really sharing over the web, which they've got a bit of a version of. Okay, let me try to explain this here as best I can. There's still no real-time collaboration, so I'm going to get that out of the way right away. What you can do, though, is I can share something I have with other people on my local network. So I can take the file I've got, and I can pretty much just fire it over to them. While that's great, they're still going to have to take the file, save it, and once they save it, it's actually their own creation from that point on. So you really you can't take the file and bat it back and forth. But here's how I would suggest you use it, at least now until they make it even better for the next version, I'm sure that they're going to keep working on this, is take the workbook that you're working on and send it out to your team. Have them sit down and you guys can all go through it because you'll all have the identical versions. As you go through it, you'll have to be talking to each other. You can make the edits on your own master copy and then you can fire off the new copy once it's updated. Again, it's not perfect. I'm just saying it's better than what they had before. The other thing they could do is they could take their own version and they can save it and just work off that and go from there. It would, might be hard to match things up later on, but at least there's something. So they're definitely working on this. And I think I can see good things coming down the pipe. I was hoping to get a bit farther ahead this year, but you know what? I'm still pretty excited about this. So looking at this, there are a couple of things I do want to caution you against. And that is, one is just making sure you only share what you need to share. So don't share your personal information. Don't share personal things or things that someone else shouldn't be know, shouldn't know about or shouldn't have in their workflow. So make sure you're only sharing the appropriate documents. And the second thing is just delete your revision history or make sure you're aware of your revision history. If you've had something in a mind map before and then you've deleted it and then you share it, people can actually go back into the revisions and grab that and go from there. So keep that in mind too. You want to make sure you watch what you're sharing like anything, right? Whatever you share is out there, and once it's gone, it's, it's gone. If you found this video useful, get the cheat sheet. It's an XMind workbook filled with tutorials, videos, and links, and all sorts of cool stuff. Imagine that, using XMind to help you use XMind. You can get it by following the link below. All I ask in exchange is that you give my newsletter a chance. Thanks for watching.